today's video is going to be about email marketing okay i'm going to be showing you how to create an email marketing system how to create a landing page how to create a newsletter so this is basically a system where you can actually send newsletters to your audience to your email list and we're going to be using this tool called get response okay now get response is one of the best email marketing tools it's one that i'm very familiar with i've been using it for years and it's one of the email tools that I've used to build my email list, okay? So I'm going to be sharing you on how to actually use GetResponse and how you can actually create an email marketing system where you can use to create email list and make more money with affiliate marketing. Now I'll leave a link in the description that is actually my affiliate link. So you can actually sign up with that affiliate link or you can just come over to your browser and type getresponse.com. So once you've done that, it'll take you to this page over here. You're going to click on create a free account, which will take you to this page. So here's where you're going to enter your full name. It's actually free, so you don't have to worry about paying anything yet. So just sign up for free, enter your full name here, enter your email address and enter your password and click on create a free account. You will then be taken to your dashboard, which will look something like this. So you'll see on the left hand side over here, you can create a newsletter, you can create a form or pop up, you can create a landing page, add contacts create autoresponder and create a campaign now some of these features require an upgrade so you will need to upgrade your plan which is basically paying for the subscription so you can access them but what you can create here first is like a landing page so that is what we're going to be creating first so just click on create a landing page so here you're going to be asked how do you want to build your landing page you can use a ready-made template and you can also now use ai but as you can see this for the upgrade plan so for now just click on this and from here, you can now pick different templates. Get response. Uh, Get response has lots of templates that you can use for all kinds of categories, all kinds of niches, all kinds of businesses, whatever it is that you're into. So let's say you want to go with this one here. Let's go with this one here. This is for seats. So maybe if you're selling seats as an example, you can actually use this. And if you want to preview, you can just click on preview the template. So here you can see the template, the whole entire template with images here. So it's pretty much just like a single page website and here's where they can enter the name and email and sign up all right so we're going to click on use this template and here we can now edit our template so you can start with the logo if you have a logo you can actually place a logo here so to edit you can just click on this this part on your right hand side is going to slide out so you can actually uh, replace the, the logo or you can edit the logo okay for me i'm just going to delete it because i don't really um, i don't really need the logo and then down over here as you can see we have other sections as well you can enter your content over here so for example i can say high quality seats made from the best materials okay something like that and then here you have a call to action so here's where you can enter a call to action for example if there's a page you want to direct them for example a sales page where they can actually buy the product you can enter it over here so you can just click on that and if you look on your right hand side over here you can change the text if you want it to say something else you can change this here you have the external page or websites okay so there are different things that you can do with this if you click on this as you can see you can direct them to a landing page if you have another a landing page that you want to redirect them you can direct them to legacy an email address phone number custom anchor website okay so these are the places that you can direct them or if you have a custom website like an example like a, an affiliate page or a sales page you can enter it over here so here's basically where you're entering your affiliate link okay so for example uh, amazon okay you can sign up to amazon associates the affiliate program where you can actually sell seats not really sell but you get a commission on seats that you sell so if I go to Amazon and then just type over here seats, maybe, uh, yeah, I just type over here seats. Okay, so as you can see, there are all kinds of seats. Uh, mainly these are uh, car seats. So maybe let me type let me type chairs instead. Chairs, living room. Okay, all right. So this is what we want. As you can see, there are different kinds of seats over here that you can sell on your website or from your landing page. So say for example, it's this one here. I can click on this image right here click on this image because this is the one that i want to sell i can just save this image and then i close that and then now i can grab the affiliate link now when you sign up to amazon associates you will get this bar at the top of here this gray bar at the top over here so any product that you want to promote you'll be able to click on this text over here and then you'll find the affiliate link so this is my affiliate link okay so i can just copy this and then come back over here and then now paste my affiliate link right there okay now we can change this image and then click on replace over here 
and then just drag our image, the one that we've just downloaded, drag it over here and click on add. All right, now you're going to go to my files and then you're going to select it, click on use and there you go. So you have your image right there. Now, what you want to do first before you upload any image here, you want to make sure this background is not showing the white background so you can make it transparent. So you can use a tool like Clip Drop. Okay, this is the Clip Drop, the, the background remover or remove background. And then you can just drag the same image over here. Okay, just over there. All right, scroll down over here, click on Remove Background, click on Downscale and Continue. And now you can click on Download. All right, so now you can come back to get response. Now we're going to remove, we're going to replace this image. Just click on Replace. Click on add files. Let's drag again our same image. Okay, this is now the one that has just been uh, removed background. And then now click on add. All right, so now this is the one that you can use. Click on use. And there you go. So now you have it blending very well with the background. So that is how you can add an image. So now we're done with this section. Let me just correct this. Okay, we're done with this section. Now you also have the bottom over here. You can add to your title. If there's anything else that you want to add, but if it's just a landing page, like for me, I just want to create a very simple landing page. So I don't really need the rest of these sections over here. Okay. Because I'm going to be having my own website. Okay. So I don't really need this section over here. If you don't have a website, you can actually use this as a website. All right. So for me, what I can do, I can just delete this entire section. Uh, I can just start by deleting this part over here. Okay, just like this. Okay, up over here. I can delete this as well. Okay, so you're basically just deleting every image. All right, and then here you can enter your title. So you can say something like uh, best, best and affordable quality seats. And then down here, maybe you can say something like sign up to receive uh, discounts. Okay, so sign up to receive discounts on our products. And then here's where they're going to enter the name and email. So you have this sign up over here. And if they click on this, they'll be able to get into an email list. Okay, they'll actually enter an email list. So for now, you can just click on save and exit. Now we're going to create our contacts. Okay, let's come over here, click on contacts. And you're going to click on create list. And then you're going to give your list a name. So you can call this maybe seat, okay, seat list. And then click on create. And now we're going to go back to our landing page, click on these dots over here, go to landing pages. And now we're going to enter this landing page that we just created previously. You're going to go to these three dots, click on edit settings. And then now we're going to give it a name because we can't leave it like this. So we can edit, click on edit name. Let's change this name to maybe seat landing page or chair landing page. All right. And then down here, you can actually add contacts to which list you want your subscribers to go to. Okay, so you can click on this drop down over here and we're going to select the list that we previously created. Okay, you can click on this and then here you can see you have send an opt in confirmation email. Okay, so this is basically going to send them an email to confirm their subscription. Okay, personally, I like leaving this on, so just turn it on, but you can leave it off if you want. And then down here you have add contacts to an autoresponder cycle. So what this basically means is that your contacts are going to get an email after a certain number of days that you choose over here. So if you leave it at zero, they're going to get it on the same day. If you leave it at one, they're going to get it on the following day. If you select two, they're going to get an email after two days. So it just depends on how many days that you want them to receive the email. So I'm just going to leave it at two. Two is, two is normally the number that I use. And then down here you have your five icon. Okay, so this is something that you can actually, a five icon is basically an image like this. Okay, these are five icons that you see here. So you can go ahead and add it if you want, but for now you don't really need to. And then down here you have cookie consent banner. You can show this if you want. Personally, I don't really do this, so you can go ahead and use it if you want. And then down here you have analytics and integrations. These are settings that you don't really need to change. For now, just leave them. And then down here you can click on continue. And once you're done, you're going to click on publish. And so now here we have our landing page. It's now connected to our email list. And then down here, you can see your performance. So you'll be able to see your page views, your visits, your unique visitors, your traffic over time. So this is basically your statistics or your analytics for your landing page. And then here you have the link. So we can test this link. You can just click on this. So this is how our landing page looks like. They can click on call to action. If they click on this, it's going to take them directly to the affiliate sales page. But if you scroll down over here further, as you can see, they can enter the name and email. So for example, if I enter my name over here, and my email and click on sign up. And if I go to get response, 
okay and then i refresh this and scroll down over here you can see we have now one page view one visit and one unique visitor and if you come to our contact you can see we have our list here this is the name of our list but as you can see here it's saying zero that's because we have not confirmed our subscription remember we actually set it up to send an email for our email confirmation or subscription confirmation so we're going to go to our email okay and this is our email confirmation so you can click on let's confirm your subscription so they're going to say hey there we're glad to have you here you got this email because you've signed up to your email list before you can send you any further communication we'd like to ask you to verify your email list so confirm your subscription click on yes i want to subscribe okay so it's going to say thank you for subscribing your subscription has been confirmed and your email address is this so now if you come back to our list and refresh this you can see now we have our list added here okay so this is basically we're going to see the number of subscribers the number of people who will have signed up to your email list okay now what we're going to do next is to create a newsletter so what we're going to do we're going to click on email marketing and you're going to click on create newsletter now it's going to ask you how do you want to create your email just click on by myself and here you're going to enter the title of your message so i can say maybe just my list okay for now because this one here is going to be seen only by you okay no one else is going to see it this is just for you to know what type of list so maybe i can say my seat or my seat okay my seat list and then down here you have from email address and then to reply to okay so this one you can't really change because you only have one account as you can see so just leave them by default and then down here you have your subject line so here you can say uh, basically how do you want to stand out in your recipient's inbox so i can say something like amazing maybe amazing discounts on maybe leather seats okay and then here's where you can add your recipients so here's where we can select our list okay so if you click on this click on add recipients so here we have our list so you can select the list which is this one here which we created earlier and then you can now click on add and it's going to show one because currently we just have one person who had signed up which was me when we were testing it out and then down here you have your design and content here is where you can actually now design the message and you can edit you can enter your message so just click on design message and here you can also find different templates for your message for your newsletters you can see there are all kinds of designs you can go with whatever you like i'm just going to go with um maybe this one here okay i'll just select this and then again here is where you can design your newsletter so first you have your logo okay let's get rid of our logo we don't really have a logo yet so i'll just click on delete there so again this one also has a menu section here it's basically kind of like a small uh single page website so you can get rid of this yeah, i don't really need this i'm just going to remove each of these sections or better yet you can just delete the whole section just like that here you have the rest of the content i'm thinking of just leaving this so we have cyber monday sale one day only up to 70 percent off online only prices are marked you can go ahead and change all of this okay just like i showed you on how you can design your landing page you can do the same thing here uh, you have the shop sale okay so this is the call to action button if they click on this as you can see here again you can do the same thing you can select all kinds of uh, features here but what you want here really is the landing page okay the, the rather the affiliate link so you can enter your affiliate link here so again i can come over here to amazon i'm going to copy my affiliate link there come back over here and paste my affiliate link there you can change the text over here the shop sale which is this you can go ahead and change it i'll just leave it and then down here again you have 30 percent uh, 30 percent off now i'm going to delete this section okay i'll just delete that section because they already have a discount here this as well i'm just going to delete this section okay just like this okay and then down here i'm going to delete it as well okay so you also have your social media icons here you can enter them if you want now i recommend you do this i recommend you link them to your social media platforms this is basically just going to increase engagement going to add more traffic you're actually going to get free traffic just from your email list okay so i'm just going to leave them for now and then now i'm going to come up over here and click on next and then now if you scroll down over here uh, we can see our uh, message is being updated so now we're good to go as you can see it says here and then now you can scroll down here now you can choose to send the message immediately or you can send later okay you can schedule it to be sent later but now we're just going to click on send message all right so it says great job 
now they're going to send a message in 50 seconds so we'll just wait for this all right so our message has just been sent and now we can go to our email to check our message and there we go as you can see we have it received here so if i open this we can now see our newsletter okay so this is basically how newsletters work if they click on this shop sale for the 70 percent off they will be taken to our affiliate link here on amazon okay now sometimes the email takes a while to arrive in your inbox so if you're doing a test it may take maybe a minute or two before you actually receive the newsletter email okay now you can actually link this landing page and your newsletter to your own website okay so if you have a website that's set up you can link this to your website so that you can easily collect emails and you can also make affiliate commissions from that and i'm going to be showing you how to do that on monday this coming monday 4th of march in my live webinar okay i'm actually holding a live webinar which i'm going to be showing you how to actually create a website from scratch using payheap payheap is an amazing website builder you can actually create free and very easy websites where you can sell affiliate products you can sell digital products you can sell even physical products courses they have so much that you can sell so i'm going to be doing a full tutorial on that and also how to link get response to your payheap website now all i need you to do is to sign up to get response using my affiliate link in the description i'll leave a link to get response in the description as well as the payheap sign up link all of them are free sign up with get response for free and sign up with payheap for free using my links in the description and lastly what i'll need you to do is to send me an email okay i also have an email there which will basically tell me that you have signed up using my affiliate links and that you want to join the webinar okay the free webinar which i'll be holding on monday 4th so once you send me the email i'll be able to send you the webinar link so be sure to send me an email as well also like and subscribe to the channel otherwise that's gonna do it for this video thanks for watching and see you in the webinar or in the next video